Hello students. In this question, we are given x is equals to a sine t and y is equals to a times cos t plus log of tan t by two. We have to find out the value of b two y by b x two. We could have find, found out easily, but y is not in terms of x over here. Rather, it is in terms of x, uh, t, and x in turn is also in terms of t. So what we can do is we can find out dy by dt, dx by dt, and divide them to get dy by dx, and then further differentiate it to get d two y by dx square. So firstly, we say that y is equals to a times cos of t plus log of tan of t by two. So this gives us d y by d t. Since a is a constant, we maintain it as it is. Cos of t gives minus sine t. Log gives one upon tan t by two, or I may say cot of t by two into tan gives six square. T by two, T by two gives us half. So this can be collected and written as a minus sine t plus one by two sine T by two cos T by two. This looks like two sine theta cos theta, which is equal to sine of two theta. So this gives us a minus sine t. As it is, plus as it is, one upon sine. So now this can also be written as a times one minus sine square t upon sine t. So a cos square t upon sine. So this gives us the value of dy by dt. Now we can also find out what is the value of dx by dt. So dx by dt, that is d by dt of a sine t. So this is going to be equal to a cos t. Now that we have dy by dt and dx by dt, we can find out What is going to be dy by dx by just dividing them? So we would get dy by dt upon dx by dt. So dy by dt, as we found, was a cos by t upon sin t. Divided by The whole a cos t. So this will be equal to cos and cos cancels. A and a cancels. Or t. So now that we have d y by d x, we can say that d two y by d x square. Will be equal to minus cosec square t dt by dx. Differentiating both the sides with respect to x, we got this. And dt by dx will be nothing but one upon dx by dt. So we let this cosec square t as it is divided by. dx by dt we had already found out earlier in the question, so we have to just substitute it. So minus cos x square t as it is into one upon a cos. So a and a cancels out. A doesn't cancel out. This gives us minus one by a cos t as it is and Cos x square t can be written as one by sine square t, so that also comes in the denominator. 
So this will be the solution to our problem.